Hi everyone and welcome back to the Declarative Academy. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our easy to follow tutorials. Today, we're diving into Chatter Groups, Salesforce's built-in space for collaboration. Think of it as your virtual team room right inside your CRM. It's where people can come together, swap updates, share files, and stay aligned without ever leaving the platform. By the time we wrap up, you'll know exactly what chatter groups are, how to find and use group admin tools, and how to confidently set up your own groups, whether you're making them open for all or private for just a few. All right, let's jump in and get started. So what exactly are groups in chatter? Think of them as digital team rooms, dedicated spaces within Salesforce designed for collaboration. In these groups, team members can post updates, ask questions and share files, all related to a specific project, initiative or topic. Whether it's a cross-functional team preparing for a product launch or a department sharing internal updates, chatter groups help teams stay aligned and ensure that important conversations don't get lost. Each group comes with its own feed. Think of it like a social media wall where members can jump in, respond in real time, or catch up later. You'll also find an engagement tab, which gives you insight into how active and useful the group really is. It tracks things like posts, questions, likes, and comments over time, so you can see what's working and what's not. Salesforce gives you a few different types of chatter groups, each designed to match the way your team collaborates best. Public groups are wide open, Anyone in your company can find them, join them, and jump into the conversation. They're great for open knowledge sharing or cross-departmental updates. Private groups, on the other hand, are a bit more controlled. Membership requires approval, and only group members can see the posts or any content shared inside. Perfect when you want collaboration, but within a trusted circle. Then there are unlisted groups completely off the radar. They won't show up in search results or group directories. Only the group owner or a designated manager can invite others. These are ideal for sensitive topics like compensation planning or performance reviews where confidentiality is key. You've also got broadcast only groups built for top down communication. In these, only group owners and managers can post updates. Members can still comment, but the main message stays clear and on track. Great for executive announcements or company-wide directives. Now, as a Salesforce admin, you've got the power to tweak how groups look and behave. Head into setup and check out group layouts. If you're creating a group and a certain option isn't available, chances are it just needs to be added through those layout settings. Simple as that. Every chatter group comes with an engagement tab. Think of it as your backstage pass to see what's really happening inside the group. It's a built-in dashboard that gives you a pulse on group activity at a glance. You'll find useful metrics like how many members have joined, how many posts and questions have been shared, how many of those questions remain unanswered, and how much interaction is happening through likes and comments. It's a simple but powerful way to gauge whether the group is thriving, staying active, and actually serving the purpose it was created for. Now let's bring it to life with some real-world examples of chatter groups that work well across different parts of an organization. You might have something like all company, public, your go-to space for company-wide announcements, leadership updates, and shared wins. Everyone's in and everyone stays informed. Project team groups, private, focused hubs for cross-functional teams working on specific initiatives. These keep the noise down and the collaboration sharp. Competitive, public, a bridge between customer-facing teams and product experts. It's where field insights meet product knowledge, helping everyone stay ahead of the curve. Product feedback public, a feedback loop in action. Sales and support teams can drop insights straight to engineering, closing the gap between customer experience and product development. Marketing private, a planning space for campaign ideas, event logistics, and creative coordination. Keeps things moving and everyone aligned. Customer name, Meetings, private, think Acme July meeting. These are ideal for syncing up internal teams before client calls or key account check-ins. Department policies, broadcast only, 
a central space where HR, legal, or IT can publish official policies, share updates, and collect feedback, all without losing control of the message. The key takeaway, whether you're running a department, launching a product, or prepping for a customer meeting, charter groups give you a flexible, structured way to collaborate. Public or private, cross-functional, or team-specific, they're built to support almost any business process. Thinking about using unlisted groups, you'll need to flip the switch first. It's not on by default. Start by heading to Setup, then search for Chatter Settings in the Quick Find box, click Edit, and make sure the Allow Records in Groups option is checked. Then tick the box for Enable Unlisted Groups. Just a heads up, you may be prompted to acknowledge some updates related to Apex or Visual Force Code if your org uses them. Once you're good, click Save. Also important, to enable or manage unlisted groups, you'll need the Manage Unlisted Groups permission, so double check your access level before you dive in. Let's walk through creating a public group, one that's open to everyone in the company. We'll call it Volunteer Central, a space where employees can share volunteer opportunities, photos, and experiences. Start by clicking the Groups tab in Salesforce or just type Groups into the App Launcher to find it quickly. On the Groups page, hit New to start setting things up. In the form, type in the group name, Volunteer Central. For the description, you could write something like, an open group for employees to share volunteer opportunities and experiences. You can even add some rich text formatting here if you want to make it pop. Next, choose a group owner. This can be you or someone else who'll help manage the space. Keep the group type set to public and leave the checkboxes for customers and broadcast only access unchecked. Click save and next, upload a group image to give it a little personality and hit done. And that's it. You've just created your first public chatter group. Don't worry, if you ever need to tweak the name, update the image or manage the member list, just click edit group anytime. Now let's set up a private group that includes customers. Perfect for projects or partnerships where collaboration extends beyond your internal team. You'll start the same way. Click new group, enter a name and description, and this time set the access type to private. Here's the key step. Tick the box for allow customers. This tells Salesforce that external users like clients or partners will be part of the group. Once that's done, click save, upload an image to personalize the group and hit done. When the group goes live, you'll notice a label just under the group name that says private with customers. It's a clear signal to everyone that external members are part of the conversation. So be mindful about what gets shared to keep things appropriate and secure. Adding members to a group is quick and easy. Just head to the group page, open the action menu and select manage members. From there, you can search for users and add them with a single click. Want to promote someone to help run the group? Just click the drop down next to their name and select manager. Group managers can edit group details, add or remove members and help moderate discussions. It's a great way to share the load and make sure the group stays active, organized and on track. All right, let's lock in what you've learned with a quick quiz. I'll read each question along with the answer choices, then walk you through the correct answer and why it's the right one. First question, what type of chatter group allows only group owners and managers to create new posts? A, public, B, private, C, unlisted, D, broadcast. The correct answer is D, broadcast. In broadcast only groups, only owners and managers can post updates while members can still comment. It's ideal for top-down communication like policy announcements or executive updates. Next question, where can you view a chatter group's engagement analytics? A, group settings. B, group list views. C, engagement tab. D, analytics tab. The correct answer is C, engagement tab. Every group has an engagement tab that shows member counts, post frequency, questions, and more. It's your go-to space for evaluating how active and effective a group is. All right, let's recap. Chatter groups are one of the most powerful tools for collaboration in Salesforce. Whether you need open forums or private spaces, you've got options. Public, private, unlisted, and broadcast-only groups, each designed to fit the way your team works. In this session, you learned how to enable unlisted groups, 
create both public and private groups, manage group members, and track engagement through the built-in dashboard. But here's the real takeaway. Mastering chatter groups isn't just about knowing the features. It's about creating the right spaces where your teams can connect, communicate, and truly thrive. If this walkthrough helps you get a clearer picture of how chatter groups work, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're always in the loop for what's coming next. Got questions about chatter groups or how to shape your group strategy? Drop them in the comments. We're here to help and always happy to hear from you. Thanks again. Until next time, stay connected, keep learning and see you in the next video.